on WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana. This is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, I'm Dennis Waltering. Jazz Fest opened to gloomy skies today, and by the afternoon, thunderstorms kept the crowds more than a little soaked. And unfortunately, the forecast calls for even more rain. Mike Hoss is live at the fairgrounds checking out this first soggy day, and he says the rain didn't stop many people from heading out there. What's it like now, Mike? Well, Dennis, it's not too bad. It's still raining a little bit, but a lot better than it was earlier. Lionel Richie's on the stage right now. He's just saying, easy like a Sunday morning. Let me say this, Friday afternoon was kind of rough. Normally, the people would be right back to where we're standing, but there's a good 100 yards between me and the bulk of the crowd right now. But really, not too bad when you consider that the weather conditions that the people had to endure to get here. To truly appreciate Jazz Fest today at the fairgrounds racetrack, you had to be a mutter or very insulated. Are you okay? Hey, okay, man. You're all right? Great time. You can breathe? Yep. Should we cut a hole in this? No, thanks. <laughs> it rained hard for a few hours this afternoon with a lot of lightning and many headed for home, which opened up front row spots for others who braved the conditions. It's gonna be really great because look at the crowd, it's small. I get to get wherever I want, you know. This is the kind of great jazz fest. Well, the hardest part today wasn't the traffic or the lines getting in. It was traversing a wet floating pontoon bridge, separating everyone from the music and food. And if you can't cross it, swim it. Has the weather slowed you down much? No, no, in fact, it's speeded it up. <laughs> it's got a good built-in cooling system. You do have clothes though, right? Oh yeah, I have a few, it's in a dry sack. Not much else would be dry this day. This couple took a page from the book of, this is my spot and I'm not leaving. I don't care how deep the water gets, kind of. You know, there are limits, but you know, if it gets four or five feet deep, well, we'll probably give it up. Rain today was tough, particularly on the food and beverage booths who rely on people, thirsty people. Normally we'd have a lot more people coming in all angles, but as rain, as you can see, there's not a big crowd. Uh, the weather's not hot enough, they're, they're not thirsty enough. The rain chased some, but not six-month-old Maeve. She won't remember her first fest, but her parents will. That's the way to travel. I wish I could be in there. <laughs> yeah, she's warm and dry and happy, hopefully. So her, fir her first jazz fest? Baby's first jazz fest. We couldn't miss it. There's only one way to enjoy this, and that's to embrace the conditions. Most did, and will go home and dry off and return tomorrow, where more rain is expected. Again, Lionel Richie on the stage right now. Earlier it was Deacon John and Black Crows are playing as we speak, also Elvin Bishop. So lots of rain, really lots of lightning. It was some pretty harrowing moments out here this afternoon, but the crowd fought through it. The worst part, Dennis, is they probably got to fight through it again tomorrow. <laughs> Reporting from the fest, Mike Hoss, Channel 4, Eyewitness News. Well, all right, Mike, thanks. The rough weather isn't just putting a damper on Jazz Fest either. The heavy rain also suspended play early 